Hey everyone, Lion Roar here, and we have a new Hero of the Month here for February 2021, Uraeus. Let's talk about him. Before I dive in, check out this brand new game called Gemstone Legends, which I've been playing for a little while. It is a super cool take on the match three style of gameplay, but it's a lot deeper than a lot of the games that I've seen up to this point. And I'm curious to know what you think. So if you wanna download it in the description of this video, you're gonna find a link and a code, hashtag lion, hashtag, which you can use to get some free stuff. Now that's the only way to get some free stuff. You're, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure to download it from that. But when you do, Gemstone Legends was very generous to my viewers. So you're gonna get some really good stuff to start off on the right foot. All right, now for today's content. This is a hero that I am really excited about because he is very unique. So Uraeus is a yellow legendary five-star hero of the month sorcerer class, which is cool because I don't feel like there's been a ton of really good sorcerers in Empires and Puzzles so that means it should be relatively easy to have emblems available for him. Um, that can only make him better, right? Uh, so let's check out his secondary abilities here. Uh, he has this passive ability, Health from Dead Minions. The hero gains 50 HP when a minion owned by them is destroyed. Uh, that's a very minor ability, but I think it will matter because if you bring your own minion heroes that put minions on him, uh, it's going to protect him even more. Or if you have him on defense and have another minion hero that's putting minions on them, it's just going to make it that much tougher to kill him. 50 is not a lot, but it's something when you pile that 50 on top of a minion, right? Uh, there's another passive ability. This one's interesting because I don't think there's too many scenarios where it'll matter, but uh, resist sand damage. This hero has an innate resistance against sand damage really only matters with some of those like summer heroes uh, but there's not a ton of them that are used all that much unless they're planning to come out with more sand damage heroes in the future which they may right so consider that all right as far as base stats go we have a 778 attack stat that is very high even for a legendary hero so that's definitely this guy's uh, shining base stat he has 727 defense that's average and okay and HP is about average and okay too at 1,324. So uh, this attack stat is what's standing out as far as like tile damage goes uh, and any kind of uh, like percent damage attack, which his special strike of the Cobra at average speed does have a percent damage attack. He deals 485% damage to the target. So he's like an average speed sniper. That 485% is a lot, especially with 778 attack. And really, it should be a lot. Empires and Puzzles has been a little bit unbalanced in that their snipers have this really high damage percent and they're fast. So, you know, I think those high damage percents probably should have been reserved more for average speed heroes. Um, but this is a lot. I mean, for just strictly looking at sniper damage when you add the 485 percent to 778 as an attack stat that's one of the hardest hitting heroes in the game against any one individual enemy so that makes him pretty good but he is average speed so you have to factor that in if you have a level 23 yellow four star mana troop then you can basically make this hero fast speed so he can be like a fast sniper uh, and that may not matter too much. But if you don't have that level 23 mana troop, there's a big difference between average speed and fast speed. It's the difference between three matches and four matches, right? So uh, you do have to factor that in. But uh, I'm going to assume that everybody's working towards that level 23 mana troop, in which case that's pretty awesome. This damage percent is really high for a sniper just on its own. Let's see what else he does. Damage bypasses targets minions. That's pretty cool, especially with all the minions running around these days. We've got Undead Horde and a bunch of heroes that create minions. Freya, Bera, uh, and he's yellow, so he's strong against those purple colors. Um, Teleria's still hanging out around there. So minions matter now. You know, a couple of months ago, that might not have been the case. But the fact that there's so many Minions Matter cards and heroes out there now, especially because they're being used in competitive play, in wars, raids, and things like that, 
uh, this ability is going to be a good one. Also, check this out. All enemies who own a minion receive 315 sand damage over three turns. That's like grave maker amounts of of status ailment damage. It's not as fast, right? He Gravemaker does it over two turns, but like just to give you an idea of how much damage that is, that's like Gravemaker damage. And if the whole team has minions, that's like Gravemaker damage to the entire team plus the sniper attack. So that would be living the dream. It might be like a sort of niche type of situation, but with as many minions as there are, this is going to be a particularly good hero in the undead horde wars where you have minions that are going to the whole team because imagine sniping a hero bypassing the minions that are already on them and then doing sand damage to the rest of the team oh my gosh that's incredible all right uh let's read the rest of this card he's got elemental link as well summons a holy minion for all holy allies with five percent hp and ten percent attack inherited from the caster so especially if you're taking him on offense and you're stacking him and you're going up against a Barra or a Freya, this dude is going to be overpowered in those situations. He's just going to rule the day, right? But I do have to point something out. With all this uh, minion mechanic printed on this card, that is typically relatively niche. Like, he's only going to shine like this in situations where there's lots of minions. So that does mean he's probably more relevant on offense, especially with the elemental link here where you're stacking yellow heroes, than he will be on defense. Because on defense, you, of course, don't get to choose who he's facing when the attacker's choosing what heroes they're bringing against him. So if they see him, they probably just aren't going to bring minion makers. So that makes grading Uraeus a little difficult. For now, because of that niche use that he's probably more useful on offense than defense and because against titans it's not as relevant i have to give him an a minus but i am really tempted to give him an a and i think that in not too long from now he might be an a hero if minions matter a lot in the upcoming months um, i would have no qualms about bumping him up to an a uh, especially in wars and with some of the heroes that are out there but here's why i'm sticking with the a minus for right now there is the chance that if there's a lot of uraeus running around and he's just that good against minions people might take the breas and the uh or the bears and the freyas out of their defenses in wars um and so you could see his usefulness go up and down so for right now i'm going to be a little bit cautious and say a minus but hey uh it might be a month from now it might be two months from now i could be coming back and saying He's an A, you know, so please do recognize that some of these things are a little bit uh, dependent on the meta, right? So for right now, I'm going to call it A minus. Um, there's a couple of things that could bump him up to an A. Like, for example, if he was fast speed, which he's not going to be, they're never going to change that. He would absolutely be an A if he were fast speed. Um, and also, if they print more cards that have minions that take up the meta, if he gets used all the time, and if he becomes useful on defense as well as offense because of how many minions cards out, are out there, uh, then he could easily become an A. So that's what you want to look out for uh, as far as if the grade will change in the future. All right, so those are my thoughts on your Reyes. What thoughts do you have? Make sure to leave them in the comments. If you haven't already, please consider giving this video a like if you enjoy content like this and subscribing, hitting that bell notification so you know when I drop future videos. And I will catch you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.